This week on Discover the Blue Ridge, Salem opens up for a party. Nelson takes a ride. And I eat some shortcake. All this and more this week on Discover the Blue Ridge. Come visit Virginia's Blue Ridge and make sure that you visit the city of Salem. Nestled in Virginia's Blue Ridge and known as the home of champions, this town produces more state football champions than just about anywhere else. They sure know how to throw a party with Friday After Five where you can enjoy live music, food, adult beverages, and fun for the whole family. This week's band was Domino, treating the crowd to their favorite funk sounds. We traveled to Henry County, Virginia, home to Providence Raceway to watch the Maxis Kart Races. While it's hard to understand the scale of these races without seeing it, take a look at this footage. There are literally hundreds of carts here and teams competing from all over the country. They're out in battle, Williams is just on that position. He'll move up into seventh. Gary Gill now in eighth. Austin rounds ninth. And Austin Banker in the old seven rounding out that top ten. Pair of two card battles as they come back to the train. Knoll to the inside of Bumgarner. And he looks to take over third and crap in officer number two. These hand-built carts producing up to 18 horsepower and traveling over 70 miles per hour around the track are sure to produce a good time for everyone watching. We caught up with our local driver, Nelson Taylor, driver of the number 51 car, to tell us more. Hi, cool. My name is Nelson Taylor. Uh, I've been racing road cars since I was about seven years old. I've racing basketball, stock cars, and things like that. Uh, me and my dad have been doing this all up and down the East Coast for, for years now. Um, today we're in uh, Henry, Virginia, at Providence Raceway at the Max Daddy. It's actually one of the most prestigious races um, in the country. And uh, the first for the, for the pro race is paying $3,000 for it. No amazing weekend would be complete without some great food, so we went to the Roanoke Strawberry Festival. Last year's festival was canceled due to the pandemic, and this year they decided to do a drive through. Mmm, delicious. We're here at the Strawberry Festival in Roanoke, Virginia enjoying some strawberry shortcake with some excellent ice cream going with it some cream outstanding they did a wonderful job getting cars through the parking lot and providing a place to eat they even had a vendor village we took the opportunity to talk with some local business owners about what they do and support the local economy. oils in them so you can actually use them in the shower and enjoy they're kind of like a diffuser 
And then we also have um, grown to different shapes. Today we're doing a special sh strawberry shortcake bath bomb for the Strawberry Fest. Uh, we also do some um, hand lotion, just as um, um, just for people who don't take baths or don't care for showers or shower belts or something in their shower. And then we've also partnered with um, one of our local friends who has a company who does candles. So it sends bath bombs and candles go well together. That's something else that we decided would help enhance our product line. And what's the name of your business? DK Fizzles. DK Fizzles, and you're based out of where? We're based out of Christiansburg, Virginia. Awesome. I'm Wendy Vaughn. I live in Ford, Virginia, and uh, people can find me on Facebook. Uh, it's Wendy's Jewels by Design, and um, yeah, we set up a lot of festivals in the area from uh, Floyd County, and we go in North Carolina and Tennessee. Uh, yeah, we are Misty Mountain Wave. We've been in business since 1997. Tie-dyeing the world one piece at a time. <laughs> and where are you out of? Uh, Rocky Mount, Virginia. And where do you set up? Do you just go to all the festivals yeah, around we, here? We normally do about 20 some a year. Okay. Uh, well, COVID, of course, has changed. But yeah, we go to everyone we can. Excellent. And you have a shop online? I do. It's uh, MistyMountainWaves.com. Excellent. Well, folks, as you can see, we had a great time here at the Strawberry Festival. Big shout out to all the people that did such a great job, the local vendors, artisans, and all the people volunteering and helping out to make this a spectacular time for family, food, fun, friends. And remember, discover the Blue Ridge, go out and meet your local community, and shop local, and support your economy.